GetStar P-Service PBX can now be integrated with third-party LDAP server. This integration enables automatic caller ID lookup, contact synchronization, and intelligent inbound call routing. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional LDAP integration with your PBX system. To get started, make sure your Yagstar P-Series PBX is running firmware of the latest version or later, and that you have an enterprise or ultimate plan. There are no specific requirements for the third-party LDAP server. First of all, we'll enable LDAP integration. Log into the PBX web portal and go to Contacts, Company Contacts. Click Synchronize Contacts. Then open the LDAP tab. Turn on Enable LDAP Integration and enter the required details, including the LDAP server address, port, and protocol. Choose between LDAP for plain text communication or LDAPs for secure transmission using SLL or TLS. Next, enter the base DN, which defines the root search location for contacts. This must follow the LDAP format such as DC equals Yaystar, DC equals COM. If needed, specify an organizational unit to refine the search scope. Then provide the username and password of an LDAP account with permission to read contact data. Now configure the auto match contact filter to define how caller ID matching works. Use a filter statement that includes number to match the caller's number against the attributes like telephone number or mobile. For example, this ensures that when an inbound call is received, the PBX will search for a match and display the caller's name. Next step, map the contact fields between the PBX and LDAP server. Scroll down to the map section and assign the appropriate LDAP attributes to contact ID, first the name, business number, and mobile number. These mappings allow the PBX to retrieve and display caller details. If you want to display the last name, check the box and enter the corresponding LDAP attribute. If you also want to synchronize LDAP contacts with the PBX phone book, enable and map additional fields accordingly. Once the settings are saved, your PBX is now connected to the LDAP server. Whenever an inbound call matches a contact in the LDAP directory, the caller's name will be displayed. If you'd like an extension users to call LDAP contacts from the Lancus UC clients, you will need to set up your contact synchronization. Go to the contact synchronization section in the LDAP configuration page. Turn on contact synchronization. Then choose where the contacts should be stored. You can create a new phone book, generate phone books based on a specific LDAP attribute, or use an existing empty phone book. If grouping contacts by attributes like department, the PBX can automatically create separate phone books for sales, support, or other teams. Set the data synchronization frequency to define how often contacts should be updated. Since large synchronizations can affect the system performance, it's recommended to schedule them during off-peak hours. Optionally, enter an email address to receive notifications about synchronization results. Use the sync contact filter to control which contacts get synchronized. The filter must match entries within the base DN, for example. We'll synchronize all LDAP contacts. If needed, enable remove existing contacts to delete contacts from the PBX if they no longer exist on the LDAP server. Once the setup is complete, click Sync Now and Save to immediately synchronize contacts. A notification will confirm how many contacts were successfully added. You can view the synchronized contacts in Company Contacts or in the selected phone box. To allow extension users to access these contacts, grant them viewing permission in the Client Permission, Contact Visibility Settings. If you want to route inbound calls based on phone book matches, you will need to configure inbound routes accordingly. This ensures calls from certain LDAP contacts are directed to specific destinations, such as different departments or priority support lines. 
at any time, you can disable LDAP integration without losing your configuration. Simply turn off Enable LDAP integration, then save the settings. This pauses the integration while retaining all configurations for future use. If you need to fully disconnect the LDAP integration and switch to another system, just click Disconnect. You can choose to delete previous synchronized contacts and phone books before confirming the disconnection. And that's it. You've successfully integrated Yaystar PBX with an LDAP server, enabling caller ID lookup, contact synchronization, and intelligent call routing. This setup streamlines communication and ensures that your PBX system always has up-to-date contact information. So that was all we have for this one. Hope you will like it, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.